In today's video, we discuss cardio versus resistance training for weight loss. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, I'm going to answer a question that I get probably as often as I get any question. And sometimes when that happens, I tend to start overlooking it. Because I have done videos in the past on this, but I always come up with kind of different outlooks on things over time and how things change. So today's video is just about the idea of what is better for weight loss. And I have some studies or a study to talk about. I also have some anecdotal evidence and I'm going to give you examples of when I think you should focus on one or the other and you know how that applies to your goals. Now usually this question comes to me from someone that's rather overweight, right? So someone let's say that's obese or their BMI is very high and they're focused on getting their body fat off, okay? And from that person's perspective is where we're going to start. So I'm going to link a study below that actually took three groups, okay, of obese people and this had hundreds of participants, okay? So we're talking about a very substantial study design, okay? And they had them mixed into three groups, an aerobic training group, an aerobic training plus resistance training group, and a resistance training group. The goal was to determine which was the best at losing fat mass, okay? How to get fat off. Because someone that's obese, that's the priority, okay? Someone that's really overweight, that's the priority. Now. Yes, I tend to work and deal with a very specific population. We are really hyper-focused on how we look naked, okay? But that's not always the case. Usually the case for most people is just general health. People aren't as obsessed and crazy as I am about this stuff everywhere, okay? Most people just want to look pretty good and feel pretty good and have a good quality of life. And so what I found interesting about this study is that the conclusion basically stated, if time is a consideration, well, your best bet is cardiovascular exercise. Now, that finding was actually backed up by another study that was in last month's issue of MASS, the Monthly Application and Strength Sport. <clears throat> now, granted, for those of you that watch my channel on a frequent basis, you're probably weightlifters, bodybuilders, people that are into resistance training as a sport, right? And so your workouts tend to be a little bit higher intensity. But what we have to remember here is when they're doing these study designs, they're putting people through a very basic workout. Okay, so the first study I mentioned, they had them start off with three sets, then four sets, then five sets of eight to 12. And then they would add five pounds every time they each, they, they, they reach that 12 rep mark. So there was a bit of progressive overload here, but we're not talking about years and years of resistance training where you built up this amazing ability for high volume, high intensity training. No. These are complete beginners, okay? So they are not going to be burning nearly as many calories when they spend an equal amount of time doing cardio. Why? Well, because think about it. If you're really overweight, your cardiovascular health is not that good. So there are some amazing adaptations that you get when you first start doing cardiovascular exercise. Now, over the lifespan of an athlete, once you lose some of that body fat and you get closer to your natural set point, then adding lean body mass is going to have a significant impact. But from the perspective of a person who's very overweight and has a very limited amount of time to work with, I would say that the cardiovascular exercise scientifically shown to be more beneficial and burn more calories. However, if we're talking about someone that doesn't have a lot of body fat to lose and they want to have the biggest impact on their physique, well, that's where resistance training really comes in. You're not going to add lean body mass or change your shape or look without bodybuilding, without resistance training, without some form of progressive overload over time, okay? That's really the only way to change how we look. Perfect diet, perfect cardio, it's not going to give you muscle and shape and size. But that might not be your focus initially, okay? That might be an adaptation over time that you're looking for. Okay, so I know a lot of people when they jump on these videos, they say, well, weight training is way better, but you have to picture the lens that people are looking through to get their information, okay? I, for one, have done it both ways, okay? I've done no cardio, I've done lots of cardio, and what I find for me works best is pretty minimal cardio after a fat loss phase. 
Why? Well, because I've already got a lot of the body fat off and I find this works very well for clients. You might have to use a lot of cardio to get fat off. You will not have to use a lot of cardio to keep it off, okay? Our bodies can maintain lower body fat once it's off by doing a lot less cardio. But to dig into fat, to get fat burned off, you have to create a caloric deficit. Reducing calories only creates such a deficit. Lifting weights only creates such a deficit. Movement, walking, exercising, cardio, that can create quite a big deficit and we can see big drastic changes in a shorter period of time than if we just use diet and training alone. So the idea is that we no longer tell people this is what you have to do. We have to get the big picture. We have to say what are your goals specifically? Do you want to look different or do you want to lose body fat, okay? If you wanna have the most impact visually on a lean person, lifting weights, resistance training is going to be the way to go. You're not going to build a physique with cardio. However, if time is a limiting factor and you are very overweight, well then, making sure you're paying attention to your diet but getting your cardio in each day is going to have the most impact on you. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Go to my Instagram, direct message, send me a question, and please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying the videos, and I will talk to you tomorrow. And hey, if you're gonna be at the Toronto Pro this weekend, we'll say hello, because I'll be walking around. Talk to you then.